Ruinburg, Southern Spawn, Light Tank. What options do we have? Spawning on Ruinburg in the south with the Light Tank. This is what usually happens and there are not too many options. The first one and the most risky option is to push to this portion here. Um, you will most likely face another Light Tank fighting for this position potentially even adversary medium tanks and chances are that you will be taken out of the game right at the beginning of the game which i which i certainly do not recommend now the other option is to go to the right hand side and try to spot enemy tanks which are proceeding like this now the problem here is that your influence on the game is um, let's say like luster now what i like to do with the light tank is i like to push this way here and then simply try to spot the enemy team, the enemy tanks, which are approaching like this here into this position. And then I fall back and play this map like a medium tank. So either from this position or maybe from this position. This position here has the advantage that you can proxy spot those tanks and they can be taken under fire by the heavy tanks right here from the middle. Now... Chances are that um, an enemy medium tank or light tank is uh, will proceed like this and um, tries to take you out. So what I like to do is um, I like to play this position only for a short period of time. But then with the medium tank what I like to do as well is I like to set myself up either in this bush line here or maybe in this bush line here. As soon as you have managed to go into this bush line you will be able to, to spot all the remaining tanks on this side of the map. So not only those tanks here, once they peek out behind this building, but then also the tank destroyers right here. And so if you manage to, to achieve this and uh, to, to enter this bush line unspotted, then your team will basically get map control everywhere on this portion of the map, and this will lead to winning the game. So... In this match we are in a low tier scenario but for a light tank this is not too much of a problem. So as I said I like to proceed aggressively to the middle but not to the um, to the street but then I like to turn around after I spotted the adversary tanks which are proceeding to the middle um, because as you can see my teammate is taken out instantaneously and um, actually he manages to take out the adversary tank but he has lost um, a huge chunk of its HP and for me this this gameplay is way too aggressively instead I proceed to the middle and try to um, to support my team and initially play this tank more as a medium tank on this map because the map it's a city map plus it is super small so um, I think it's a fair gameplay now I do not want to go to the proxy spot location um, because our team has not entered the middle yet the ts5 finally has or now has but um, instead i will try to see whether it is possible to advance to the bush lines and then get into a nice spotting position now um, the enemy senlag has been spotted in the nor uh, in the in the east so on the zero lane and now with the cover of those bushes i can move into this bush lane here and I have the spotting advantage on my side and now I can spot all the enemy tanks and now the spotting damage the sorry the spotting damage will will quickly run in now keep in mind that you can do this only with the heavy tank plus only if the adversary light tank Oh, sorry you can only do this in a light tank uh, that's what i wanted to say and only if the adversary light tank does not counter you and that is a very fortunate situation um, right here all those um, all those medium tanks and all those um, tds will not be able to spot me and um, but i will certainly be able to spot them and so my team is able to take all those tanks under fire and look how we can collect spotting damage so this is the golden situation that you want to achieve now once again if the adversary light tank 
um, tries to counter you and, and also plays in this position. What you want to do is you want to counter the adversary light tank and you can do this with active spotting. So in this situation, so let's say, let's say the adversary light tank would be in the bush where I am right now, then my goal would be to make an active spotting run close to the position where the uh, leopard is situated but then i would uh, need to turn around keep moving and fall back into cover because i would get spotted in this situation but my goal would be to counter spot the adversary light tank and so that my team is able to take this light tank out of the game this is what you want to do in a light tank on this map but um, as i said the adversary light tank um, does not see the need um, of playing the middle which is super for me and uh, now I can simply remain in this bush, conduct passive scouting and simply spot all the adversary team and collect all the sweet spotting damage. And so far I think there's no need of further proceeding uh, to the adversary base. I will do this via the zero lane, but for now I simply want to collect all the sweet assisting damage nice and as you can see this is all my spotting and i can even spot the adversary light tank now sooner or later once again i will proceed via the zero lane now in this game i am very fortunate because our heavy tanks have won the heavy flank which is um, um which is uh which can be different and now after um, all the tanks have been uh, deleted, okay, uh, he gets uh, he sets me on fire, which is okay. Um, I can simply rush towards the enemy position, even via the open field. But um, usually, if uh, the game would have been closer, I would have fallen back to the zero lane and then advanced via the bushes on the zero lane. But um, yeah, the game is won, and I think um, I think uh, I brought the point across. So this is how you want to. Um, proceed on this map in a light tank and now let's see this tank will also be deleted and um, yeah so this is what you should do in a light tank on this map